linked to a new book from Lifeway called The Word According to Gen Z. Now, it's available as an ebook as well as a printed edition. So I got the uh, e ebook. And uh, so I, as I've said many times, I buy the bad books so you don't have to. Now, look, I wrote two youth books years ago, co authored them with a guy named Kevin Johnson, and they were really good. And they were fun, and they used youthy language. And the titles were youthy. Uh, what's with the dudes at the door and what's with the mutant in the microscope? But we still used English. We actually communicated in English. And the one was a book on cults and isms. And so we, we talked about Sola Scriptura and the Trinity and stuff like that. And, but we did it at a junior high level. And then what's with the mutant in the microscope was basically an introduction to intelligent design creation. Uh, for young people. I'm really bummed they were not kept in print very long. They did all right. I mean, in fact, uh, one of them won a, uh, a silver award or something uh, that year. Uh, so, uh, but they weren't kept in print very long. I just don't think they keep youth books. I don't think youth books last very long for anybody. They're sort of a one season thing. But uh, <clears throat> anyway, so I, I get communicating with kids, but Gen Z, this is, this is more shooting for an older audience of people who just simply won't grow up. That's that's the problem with what we're dealing with here is the next generation refuses to grow up, refuses to take responsibility, refuses to see how they stand in the in the line of generations that have come before them, how they are, they are being entrusted with what has been built for them and given to them and fought for for them and sacrificed for them and they're just absolutely entitled babies. I mean, that, just, just watch the interviews on the street. They're supposed to get free this and free that and free this and free that. And everyone's just supposed to give all their money to them. And they don't have, they should never have to work a day in their life. They're Karl Marx all over again. And they are. That's what Marx was like. He was a freeloader, never worked a meaningful day in his life, lived off the money of his family and his friends. I mean, just, there's no reason to respect someone like that. There never has been, there never will be. Never will be. So anyway, I get the motivation, but this is just a disaster. This is just a disaster. So this, is, this was the verse. So what we're going to do, I've read some of them, so I know what the verse is, but then we're, when we, once we get past the ones that I'm reading, um, I don't know what the verse is, so maybe I can guess along with you. Um, but <laughs> this first one was the one that Daryl posted. And here's what it, here's what it says. And for some reason they use Fraktur font for this. I have no idea. Fraktur is an old German font and it's very hard to read. But anyway, since day uno, there was cap G. Big J was chilling with cap G and big J was cap G. Recognize it? Yeah, it's supposed to be John 1-1. In the beginning is the word, and words with God, and word was God. Unfortunately, this rendering is heretical. Very heretical. Um, because Cap G is supposed to be God, I suppose. Is that Captain G? Um, or Cap as in capital? I don't know. I, I speak English. And I I'm not going to stop speaking English. We know who Big J is. And Cap G, but when you say, and Big J was Cap G, that's just not the case. So utilizing this kind of non-language, you can't properly express what is actually there. And this is a modalistic rendering. It's heretical. But that's John 1.1. 1, 1. All right. So uh, with the rest of these, see if you can figure out what it is. Just let, let me read it to you. Ready? Cap G's words are one hundo. Straight up slicing and dicing and knowing it all. Cap G's words are one hundo. Straight up slicing and dicing and knowing it all. Hebrews 4.12. For word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing into the division of soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. It must be a shorter translation <laughs> than any, any English translation would be because there's a lot of stuff missing there. Uh, <clears throat> okay. This one everybody knows because you memorized it in, uh, in during VBS. I don't think there's anybody who grew up in a Baptist church who did not memorize this verse during vacation Bible school. It's just, it's just required. 
I never went to Awana. I don't think we were ever in a church that had Awana, but uh, I bet you got it in Awana, too. All right. I got your Holy Scripts padlocked in my chest thumper. I got your Holy Scripts padlocked in my chest thumper. Oh, Rich had gotten this one back on the first run anyways. It's, now it's just easy, right? I have stored up your word in my heart that I might, sin, might not sin against you. Psalm 1911. Psalm 1911. Yeah. Um, you'll never get this one. I, I actually posted this one on Twitter about an hour ago. Not swerved by these scripts because Cap G be given that get out of jail free card to the whole fam. Not swerved by these scripts because Cap G be given that get out of jail free card to the whole fam. It's Romans 116. For I am not ashamed of the gospel for it is the power of God for salvation. Everyone who believes to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Okay. <laughs> uh, ready? All right. Take that noggin guard of savvies and that big old knife of Cap G's words. Take that noggin guard of savvies and that big old knife of Cap G's words. Ephesians 6.17 And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Okay, this is as far as I got before, so we're almost caught up to where we had already done before. Maybe this is what's killing the stream. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe even the internet is just going... <laughs> we're still holding on here? <laughs> don't, talk, don't say anything about it. We got green lights. Everybody, everybody just hold your breath. Ah! You ready? Moo Moo Food goes bye-bye, and pedal pads take an L, but Cap G's scripts are perm. <laughs> you, you can't start laughing in there. I can't get through it. Moo Moo Food goes bye-bye, and pedal pads take an L, but Cap G's scripts are perm. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Which is one of the texts that I use when signing books. And so this is really bothering me. Okay, now, now we're in the ones I have not seen what, what these are. So I'm going to be guessing along with you. Stash them in the real talk because your script is the real talk. Stash them in the real talk. Because your script is the real talk. John 17, 17. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. Stash them in the real talk. So I guess stash is sanctify. I, I, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> Cap G being the real one took us zombies and high key gave the real game. Cap G being the real one took us zombies and high key gave the real game. I don't know. I don't know. But God, being rich in mercy, because the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved. <clears throat> Dudes can't make it on Sammy Blankies alone. Got a feast on that real talk from Cap G. Okay, all right, I get it. Dudes can't make it on Sammy Blankies alone. Got a feast on that real talk from Cap G. Do you, do, did you get it? Because I, I actually got that. Yeah, but he answered, it's written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Yeah, so Sammy Blankies, must, Blankies alone must be Sammy Blankies? I know. 
we are we are yeah we're over 30 years out on this one um yeah you're thinking pancakes yeah okay your script is lit your script is lit your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path your script is lit There are there are only thirty. We've done twenty. Uh, let's just let's just just do a couple others. Oh wow! Okay, suit up. Don't play the bench, or you're straight up playing yourself. Suit up. Don't play the bench, or you're straight up playing yourself. Nope. James one twenty two. But be doers the word and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Playing yourself is deceiving yourself. So at least I. I want to hear John 11 Yeah. Well, it isn't a complete translation. There are only 30 of them so far. No. And let's hope that, you know. Oh, okay. Oh. Wow. <laughs> okay. Ready? Now, now, honestly, it was last summer that I was coming home. I was coming home from Utah last or from Colorado last summer. Or going up one of the two. When I was introduced to Marco Polo. The app, you know, where you can do video chat type stuff. My, I haven't used it in months, but it was it was big for three weeks and then stopped. Um, so so here we go. This is how new this is. I Marco poloed Cap G, and he didn't leave me on read, and snatched up all my scaries. Let me try it again. I Marco poloed Cap G, and he didn't leave me on read, and snatched up all my. Scaries. I wonder if it's leave me on red. Like when your message has been read but not responded to. I'll bet you, I'll bet you that's so I Marco Poloed Cap G and he didn't leave me on red and snatched up all my scaries. Psalm 34 4. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. All my fears, scaries. I haven't seen anything about swiping left or swiping right yet. No. No. Oh, wait a minute. That's the same one. It just looked very different. Okay. Um, okay, I'll just do this one. We'll be done. I, I'd have, I've got some, too much else to do, but this this is almost like watching a car accident. Oh. Huh. Oh, okay. So they did the same one for a few days and talked about different aspects of it. Okay. Okay, here we go. Don't flex on me, sus dude. If I slip, I don't dip. When life goes on dark mode, Cap G keeps it, keeps it lit. Don't flex on me, sus dude. If I slip, I don't dip. When life goes on dark mode, Cap G keeps it lit. Rejoice not over me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, uh, this is from your Southern Baptist publication arm called Lifeway. The word according to Gen Z. I... I will just leave, um, I'll just leave that there. <laughs>